Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. The joy of the Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. Our consolation and our confidence is that our God is with us. He never says we won't go through things. Even though we go through, but even though we go through waters and rivers and flood, we will not be drowned. Even though we go through fire, we will not be consumed. Because the Lord our God is with us. Praise the name of Jesus. You know, I, I know we're going through very difficult and, you know, uh, 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 trying times. Praise God. You know, I know we're going through trying times in this nation. Uh, uh, the forces of darkness are really, really contending over the soul of Nigeria. You know, the contention has been for quite a while. It's been for quite a while. It's not just terrorism, praise God. Lives have been daily destroyed. Talents have been constantly wasted. You see, uh, 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 one of the, one of the uh, uh, deepest causes of the enemy of, on Nigeria is a cause of, you know, corrupt administration, corrupt leadership, and derailed culture derailed values praise God and our prayer is that the Lord will rebuild the walls of Nigeria the falling walls of Nigeria and that is the reason why he has allowed the hand of the enemy to oppress us as a nation that is the reason because in the midst of this chaos God is speaking the Lord is calling us to change he's asking us as a people and as a nation to change our ways and change our course. The Lord is the the, the the searchlight of God is piercing through our very foundation. And the Lord is saying that there is no place for hiding. We can no longer hide in our self comfort. We can no longer hide in our paneled homes and houses. We can no longer hide under the sh shade of our force. The force. The force. The first, you know, uh, uh, preservation that we have built within our individual isolation. Individualism is one of the enemy's weapon. Is one of the enemy's inroad to perpetuate wickedness in our land. There's this problem of indifference that has plagued Nigeria. That we cannot rise up to issue and speak. We can't say no. And we cannot stand up. You know, the, 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 the unfortunate incidents of the, you know, uh, 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 adoption of, of the innocent, beautiful young girls. One, one of the things the Lord is saying is that as a people, it's time to begin to speak. It's time to begin to speak against injustice. When we show an attitude of indifference towards injustice, that makes us to be partakers, makes us to be part and parcel of the perpetuation of the heel. So the Lord is saying we must no longer hold our peace against actions and activities and incidences of and practices of injustice. It's time to speak. It's time to publish it. It's time for you to put it on social network media. It's time for you to speak to the conscience of sinners. It is time for you to speak out. Let heaven and earth know what you are standing for. Many of us in this nation do not have a stand. We're so eng engrossed in, our, in the pursuit of our individual comfort. And God is saying issues of righteousness. We can no longer be passive concerning towards issues of righteousness and justice we can no longer because the foundation of the throne of god is righteousness and truth when it comes to the issue of fairness the lord is saying you've got to make a stand sometimes somebody is cheating and taking advantage of the of someone but because the person is your friend 
in some instances your uncle or some instances your boss and you cannot show an attitude you cannot protest by a simple attitude that says i do not applaud that stand the lord is saying it's time for the church to be delivered from the fear of death it's time the fear of death has robbed us of our authority in the spirit the fear of death has robbed us of our authority in the spirit that we do not have a voice but the lord is restoring our voice as a nation i'm talking about the church the body of christ as a nation the lord is restoring our voice the lord is restoring our authority is reenacting our authority in the spirit we must overcome the fear of death the realm of the spirit responds to the attitude of the heart when we say no in our heart and we take a stand the forces of darkness experience they they they, 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 they are overrun and we take a stand praise god it is echoed in the spirit but in in this nation an average nigeria has suddenly become a compromiser compromise 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 empowered the past forces of iniquity in the realm of the spirit the lord is saying i'm raising a new generation among the young people i'm raising the people i know vast number majority of our young people are they are sell out vast number the majority of our young people are defiled but the lord has a remnant if the lord has a generation he has preserved that will not bow down to bear and they will speak with no fear they will stand up and declare the counsel of the law they will stand up and declare the word of the law the lord is speaking in the means of this chaos he's speaking to our leadership at every level he's speaking to our leadership the lord is speaking audibly clearly the lord is saying it will no longer be business as usual the order of corruption has been is being revoked in the spirit over the over the soul of this nation the order of corruption the order of wickedness the order of mismanagement of resources is being revoked there is a revolt in the spirit and there is a staring and that's the reason why the cry of bring back our girls will not stop it will not stop because it's the doing of the lord is the doing of the law to stir up divine aggression and radicality in this nation the lord is stirring up the conscience of this nation life is not just about personal survival and that's what the heaven is saying over nigeria the lord is speaking over the soul of this nation life is not about personal survival life is rather much more about the will of god being done about the kingdom of god being established right life is about justice and righteousness life is about life is about redefining the spiritual environment and influence over you as a nation life is about the well-being of the community and that's what god is saying the lord is tearing up the conscience of nigeria and is tearing up the spirit of radicality that is of god he said nigeria is time to speak and you have no choice because the word of the lord will be like fire shut up in your bone you will speak and act and take action and beat the kingdom of darkness backward and that's what the lord is saying that's what the lord is saying the order of corruption has been revoked in the spirit the order of corruption in the leadership of this land president good lord jonathan you remember when he was coming to power the the does say the lord we had what the word the lord gave to us is the, that he is the bridge between the old and the new and you know uh, sometimes uh, last year it's uh, march last year when the lord spoke to us that pdp will experience conflict and collapse 
PDP will begin to disintegrate and will declare the counsel of the Lord together. And that has already happened and it's still happening. What the Lord is saying is not just about PDP. It's PDP representing a system. And PDP representing an order in the spirit. Because that order, APC, belongs to it. Praise God. All these, all these, you know, all these gangs, gangsters, political gangsters, the Lord is in the house of corruption. There is a collapse. There is a massive crack on the house of corruption. And the Lord has cancelled it out. Yes, the Lord is stretching it to its limit. Change must come. Change must come. What I sense in the spirit, what terrorism in the capital territory, in quick succession, what it implies is that this present administration has been rejected by heaven. What it implies is that the house of corruption, which this administration stands for, has been revoked in the spirit. And the Lord is saying the time of change is beginning to come. There is a rumbling in the spirit. And there is going to be an invasion in the heavenly realm. Change will come. The season of change has come upon us as a people and as a nation. As a people and as a nation. The Lord wants out of his church a people of power to emerge. An army. A watchman. A team of watchmen. That can birth and travail in the spirit. Nigeria is in a critical phase and season. This nation is going through the, all this act of terrorism and, and oligarchism and violence and, and, and abominable act of sell, taking away adoption of young girls and selling them cheap at 2,000 naira to terrorists as wives. Young girls of secondary school. And the Lord, you know, that is a major cause and abomination upon a people. But as terrible as it is, out of this rubble will come a new Nigeria. A nation where there will be safety and security. A nation where revival of the spirit will pioneer and engineer change. A nation where the Lord is at work, where the Lord is breaking down the odds of darkness. A nation where it is no longer permitted and it's become illegal to be untruthful. A new Nigeria is being birthed. We're in the season of birth pang as a nation. And the church must travel. The church must pray. The church must seek the face of the law. The church must pray, says the Spirit of God. The church must labor in the Spirit. And the church must strive through repentance. The Lord is saying we must change our ways. And change our attitude. And not only that, we must upgrade our perception. Our perception. We must come to the place of understanding of the will of God. And knowledge. We must come to the place of the knowledge of the truth. We must come to the place of clarity. We must come to the place where we begin to hunger after his righteousness. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. So that... Let's lift our hands and say, Lord, let your will be done. Let your kingdom come over us as a nation, over us as a church. We mean the body of Christ in the nation Nigeria and over us as individuals in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen.